Hey everybody, it's your girl Tiara, back like I never left. <laughs> I'm just joking. So it's been like six months since my last video, I think. I don't know, but <laughs> guess what we're here to do today? Make some soap. So, <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm out of breath because I just got back from the gym like not too long ago and I'm super sore. And then I was trying to get all this together before my husband got home, making a whole bunch of noise. But anyway, so the soap that I'm making today is called Chic Hippie. So these are my colors right here. So since we're like approaching spring um, time, I decided I want to do some brighter colors instead of your like typical, you know, hippie patchouli um, colors that are associated with, I don't even know what I'm saying right now, y'all. <laughs> Let me get my mind together. Plus, I took some pre-workout, so I'm still kind of like eh, jittery, anxious feeling. So instead of using the colors that are typically associated with, you know, patchouli and things like that, um, I decided to use some different type of colors. And I did use a brown, you know, just to throw in that patchouli factor. But this fragrance smells really good. If you've been shopping with me since I've been open, then you know I've had it in the past a couple of times. Um, it sells out pretty quick. So let's just go over the colors. So the color I have right here is Bronze Brown from Nurture Soap. All of the colors are from Nurture except for this teal, which we'll get to at the end. Um, this green right here is New Leaf Mica. That's what it looks like. The yellow is yellow vibrance and the pink right here is amaranth pink and then the um teal right here is blue tide from mad micas so i don't know if these colors are still available i'm i'm sure some of them but like colors like this i don't know if nurture soap still has it since they've changed their their packaging look i have like three they have three different types of labeling so let's get started. Let me bring my fragrance oil over here. I'm tripping. I feel so rusty, crusty, dusty because it's been so long since I made a soap. Like, and thank y'all for sticking with me. Y'all like, when y'all making another video? I've still accumulated so many subscribers even though I haven't been present in over six months. So thank you. Thank you so much. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me put my gloves on. Yeah, I'm hot. I'm burning up. But what's been going on with y'all? Because whew, a lot has been going on with me. <laughs> as far as soap making goes, to be honest, I'm just like, I'm trying to get back into it. But if you've seen like my soaps have been just one color, plain, simple, not all the extras. It's because I just wasn't in the mood and wasn't feeling soap making to be upfront and honest about it. But here we are. So, all right, let's go. Let me give this a quick buzz. I got my, ouch, my oils and butters up in here melted. My additives. Buzz it up to make sure that they're not settled at the bottom. And Throw my lye water in here and I'm going to, ooh, I'm so shaky, y'all. That pre-workout has me really shaky. I feel nervous. I have like a nervous feeling. Um, like, like anxious, anxiety. So I'm just going to do a drop swirl. Real simple. So let me emulsify this. feeling so I just started taking a pre-workout like I've never taken one before and the first time I took it I'm like it's not doing anything so it says take it with like 10 to 12 ounces of water and I'm like well I don't feel anything <laughs> like it did not help me out in the gym at least I didn't feel it did plus I made the mistake of going to work out and I hadn't ate much so Maybe that's why it didn't work. That's what my husband said, because I didn't have any fuel. 
So I tried it again, but I used half of the amount of water with the same um, amount like scoop and it works. But ain't nothing changed. I still don't want to make a mess. Ooh, like I'm about to because I'm shaking over here. I do not like this jittery feeling. So I'm going to pour my fragrance in all of these. Okay, let's get to pouring. Got my mode. And this is the order that I'm going to pour them in. Let me give these a quick stir real quick. Just to knock out any air bubbles. I feel so shaky. I don't know if a drop swirl was the thing to do. But here we are. I don't even feel like texture in the top. To be honest, I feel like just leaving it like this. Y'all know I like my crazy tops. My splatter, splatter-esque tops. And plus I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm so tired that I don't even think I could texture it properly and y'all I've been out of it for so long like I haven't textured a top in forever I probably suck but there is chic hippie so I'm gonna let this set for 24 hours and I will see you all for the cut hey everybody so I am back to cut chic hippie soap i like how the colors turned out i don't really know if the green and the yellow is like if you're able to differentiate the two colors but we shall see as soon as we get into it so let me go ahead and cut this end piece off
I just love the smell of this. So it has like notes of patchouli, lavender, ylang. Um, what else? I can't remember. <laughs> but it smells really good. Even if you're not a patchouli lover, you'll probably like this one. Or you may not. This patchouli is one of those scents. What's wrong with my thing? Okay, patchouli is one of those scents that you either love or you hate, but this isn't like a, a heavy patchouli. Smelly. I love it. I do love the color combination. You can tell the difference um, a little bit. It's very subtle with the green and the yellow. I can't remember if I poured them like next to each other, like pour the yellow and then the green. I probably should have separated with a different color. I don't know, but um, when I go back and edit the video, I'll see what I did. But yeah, I like it. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad that the brown is not too intense. You know, dark colors will take over your soap real quick. So, like when you use black, when you use black, it uh, overpower the soap. Still a little sticky, a little sticky, icky. Hasn't even been a full 24 hours yet. So I did have a little trouble unloading this one just on one side though. Everything else was perfect. Um, and then the soap that I made after this, um, it unloaded without any issues. So I like my drop swirl. Drop swirl is one of those that I will never get tired of. Drop swirl. I was gonna say um, tiger stripe, but I don't know. I think I get tired of those after a while. I haven't seen any new techniques like with soap making that I want to try. Yeah, I'm just not, I'm just not enthused <laughs> like I used to be. I really like this. So y'all know the drill. It's been six months, but the drill ain't changed. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and I will see you all in my next video so thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you soon bye oh i had to come back just for a second so while i was away not making a uh, soap you know i still have people that comment on my videos i still talk to them and let me just say this. <laughs> First of all, I have people talking about, oh, such a pretty soap, great video, but I hate the music. Well, don't watch it. I mean, it's as simple as that. Either mute it and put your captions on or don't watch it. Like you telling me you don't like the sound of the music in the background, it's not gonna change anything because guess what? I liked it. I put it on my video, so I will continue to put it on my video. Like people kill me. Like, I don't get that. If something bothers you, why put yourself through the torture of even watching it? Goodness gracious. Like, that's, that's like an idiot. <laughs> like, who does that? That's insanity. But that's all I had to say, y'all. <laughs> so back to uh, speeding up the video. Bye.